Anyway, to kind of end the show, I want to also touch upon this and say about the Andrew Schultz stuff, right? I love Andrew Schultz. I like him as a personality. I think his marketing chops are unparalleled. I also think, contrary to popular demand, I actually do think it's funny. Now, I haven't watched the special. I'm probably not going to watch it because I just can't be bothered. But I like the, the cut of his jib. But I don't like this recent little thing he's done where he's trying to create these stories, these narratives to try, or as Brenda would say, these narratives to try and make himself out to be the hero of his own story. Or basically he's writing the script to his own movie. I don't like this whole stuff because it feels all contrived and fake. It just feels contrived and fake. Like to its core. He already started it off with the whole, um, um, you know, the, the streamer that I was putting it on with that said they wanted to change a joke. So he's like, he's fighting against council culture. Then he said, um, I'm going to bet on myself. I'm investing all my money, my life savings and uploading it on myself. Like, you know, like uh, pulling himself up by his bootstrap, sort of like, yeah, like a bootstrap, a startup sort of vibe. And now the narrative going on, now the special's out, is this weird thing that he's doing now where allegedly he got hacked huh so this is a caption from his twitter someone just tried to hack my special and take it take it down i truly don't understand these people it's literally behind a paywall it only touches the people that want to watch it from the bottom of my heart suck my dick so now he's trying to twist the narrative and to change it into being like his special is so edgy that people don't want you to watch it that they're willing to hack his website to take it down which is fucking nuts because it just sounds like a lie. It could be true, but it just sounds lie right? It just comes across Ellie. You know what I mean? There's, there's a little bit of, <laughs> do you know, it just doesn't sound like the truth at all. Zero. Um, and anyone who's making a video in one of those kind of makeshift outdoor New York things with the restaurant stuff, I automatically don't believe either because those things are one of the greatest scams ever during COVID. They're, they may, oh, you're sitting outside. You're not, you're not, you know, you're not, you're COVID's secure. It's like, dude, we're inside still, but we're outside. You know what I mean? But anyway, let's hear Andrew Schultz try and convince us that someone tried to hack his site to take down his special. You fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. Okay? Whoever you are, they tried to hack my special. You don't even realize what you did. Do you realize how many more people want to see it now? You fucking idiot. Sitting in your mother's house. Her neck looks like a calzone. The fat diabetic bitch. Do, do you even understand how the internet works? If you hack my special... You know what's cringe as well? He's insulting someone that doesn't exist. <laughs> he's, insult he's insulting somebody that doesn't exist. He's basically doing what he does at home when you're like maybe practicing your lines and you're like trying to, yeah, uh, do comedians do that in front of a mirror? I don't know if they do it in front of a mirror, but you're like practicing your lines and doing your bits and or like, you know, oh no, you know, like when, if you meet somebody, you haven't, no, you haven't argued with somebody in the street, but you don't say the thing that you want to say. And then the whole way back home, you're waking, you're making up all these scenarios. Like, oh, man, I should have said that. I should have told him to suck his mom. I should have told him to jump off a bridge. I should have, I mean, whatever. You, should, you make up all these things that you would have, could have said, but you didn't say at the time because you were maybe scared or maybe you're caught off guard. That basically, this is like what he sounds like doing, but he's recording it and sharing it with us. Like, and who's he sitting next to? His wife. Imagine sitting with your wife having a meal and be like, babe, one sec. You fucking calzone neck motherfucker, you. Like, ah, huh? Put your phone down, baby. Have some dinner, man. Like, what are you doing? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? And take it down. More people are going to support it. You fucking son of a footless fat bitch. Because she has diabetes. Because your mother sits at home eating glizzies all day. The greasy haired fat toenail this bitch the point that i'm trying to say is you're inconveniencing me you think you're trying to stop my comedy but you're only making it bigger you fucking idiot thank you he's lying i'm just saying it flat out the man's lying it's a lie it's a flat out lie and i like the guy wish him all the best and shit but he's lying this is a lie and i don't understand why he's lying don't get me wrong, I get it, and I don't get it. I said I mentioned at the top of the show with the whole um, AOC fake arrest stuff, right? I said kind of, I made a correlation that I think nowadays people are, people are essentially 
they're creating these like fake scenarios and things around themselves to make themselves appear more to, to make to kind of lionize themselves make themselves look more grand right and to somehow um allow people to invest in a story or to have something to root for like because essentially the guy like you know, was born on what? Like third base, isn't it? Like, you know, he grew up with fairly, you know, well-to-do parents. He didn't really struggle in life coming up. So you kind of have to create a, an opponent for him to kind of slay and to go after as fans because you can't say, you, you know, it's a, not the broke thing. I don't have the money thing because he's obviously killing it with his podcast and the Patreon and shit. So he's inventing these fucking dragons, right? In fucking Jordan Peterson speak, right? He's in, he's inventing these things. Uh, what's the thing for the, for the hero's journey? Sorry, he's invented these monsters he has to slay in order to make himself a bigger person to make fans more invested in the story. And I just don't think it's, I just, I just don't think it's, it's needed. It's not needed personally for me. If you're funny, you're funny. If your fans fuck with you, they fuck with you anyway. Why do you just why why I sell this whole like? I don't know. I don't know. And who knows? It could be true. I could be I could be completely wrong. And as people are saying here, um, I have wild imagination. You're chatting out your ass. I guess they know you're smoking too much. You're crackhead. All right, whatever. I could be the dumb one. I could, I'm willing. I'm willing to also um, assume that maybe I am the one that's completely cracked out, that has no idea what I'm talking about, and I'm reaching for the stars. I mean, I'm reaching for the stars, right? Cool. I could be that person. But I legitimately think this is all a lie. I legitimately think... <laughs> what are we going to do with our men? No, nah, I've got to play that before I leave. I have to play that before I leave. You got me on it now. Where is it? Oh, what's that video called? Oh, uh, what is it, Jordan Peterson? What are we going to do with our men? <laughs> with our men, please say someone's got it. Please, please. That, that made me laugh instantly. <laughs> what are we going to do with our men? <laughs> Where is it? 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 Oh, what clip was it from again? What was the clip called that it was from? Oh, what was it again? Was it? What was it called? It was called something. Does anyone know in the chat what that clip was called from? It was a compilation of stuff, wasn't it? Ah, oh, um, Jordan Peterson, Joe Rogan. It was like something. It was like something about it had it had them um, fucking what's his name in it. It had um, Lex Friedman in it too. Does anyone know in the chat? Anyone know? Oh, what was it called? It was called something. Okay, let me ask the chat. Actually, forget that. Let's ask chat. So, chat. Do you guys think Andrew Schultz is lying about being hacked? Because I'm seeing people say here, like, um, JS said, I don't think it's a lie, but you're correct about him trying to create a narrative. So you you think it's true, but he's obviously putting a little bit of salsa. He's putting a little bit of uh, Mexican cookie <laughs> crumbs all over it to make it more interesting. Right? Um, but what do you guys think? Do you think Andrew Schultz is lying about the whole hacking thing or not? Yes, he's lying. Yes, he's lying. 100% it's a lie, dude. B is saying Andrew says he's lying. I heard Brendan is actually from Romania and he funded Gringo Papi by selling then. <laughs> Brian says lying. I heard Brian is actually... Uh, yes, yes, classic shorts. Okay, cool. Okay, so most people think he's lying. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm not I'm, I'm not in a minority here. So, okay, cool. Most people are thinking he's lying or he's just embellishing the story to make it sound good. Jimmy Hart says, I think he's lying. It might be exaggeration. Like he just got a notification saying someone tried to log on. Okay, cool. Exactly. Yep, yep, yep. Hacking is a loose term these days. Is it, yep, it's true. 7110 dabbers. True again. No, he's doing independent and behind a payroll. Easily screen record. It says Caveman Lusso. Okay, cool. Don't be sharing techniques how to record. Who cares? I don't give a fuck. Do what you want. But also, is it 